Kendall, we had a difference of 1,500 pounds between the inner and outer tire. Is he within tolerance for, for these tires? He is, so he's not really a safety factor, so this would not be placed out of service. But what you would, what you really look at is what would he benefit if he fixed this, if he got those two equal. So obviously there's going to be less weight on your inside tire, more on the outside tire. So you're over the life of those inside tires, you're going to see a lot less damage and you're reducing your braking efficiency because you don't have enough weight out here to help. So you're not handling as good, your weight's on the inside versus out, your fuel efficiency is affected, your braking's affected. So I can't place you out of service, but you're losing those benefits that you could have by simply just fixing the air pressure. And what percentage of the tires on a truck, your, just your average traveling truck down the road, would you say has that discrepancy in weight? Pretty much every dual tire, no matter if it's your pickup truck or any tractor trailer. If you've not evaluated and put a scale under there to look at the two, your inside's gonna carry more weight. The only difference is air pressure. So if you've reduced the inside pressure or if it's flat, or if you put two different type of tires, so let's say the inside tire is a lower tread depth than the outside, that's obviously gonna have a factor. But if you have two identical tires on two identical wheels sitting side by side, the inside will always be heavier if your air pressures are the same. It's just the reality. It's just the way those axles bend. It's gonna be there every single time. Uh, so having the ability to stop those trucks, educate those companies, number one, to say, hey, you really can't keep doing this. If you're gonna run that kind of weight, you need to put pressure on those drop axles. Uh, and there is now the ability for us to enforce this. You know, we don't wanna, you know, it's not our goal to come out and just go after industry and say, we're gonna shut down every truck out here. If we can stop our trucks quicker, safer, if our truck can handle better, and can we save our tires and, and increase the life of our tires? And what about fuel economy? I mean, it, right now with fuel the way it is, expensive it is, what percentage of fuel savings is a massive percent dollar-wise down the road if you have a large company? So all that comes together now simply from a scale that shows us two separate tires, whereas before we never could see that.